Morning Living Word Church, Pastor Bob here. Coming to you on Good Friday morning. Uh, just, uh, this is a, a, it's a day of remembrance, a day of celebration. Um, just really an amazing time in history, as you all well know. And uh, just thinking this morning of uh, Good Friday, the day that Jesus was crucified. And then it says this, uh, says that uh, the soldiers, they took charge of Jesus and he carried his place to the place of the skull, which means Golgotha. Uh, and then it says, and it goes on down and it says that they put a sign above him. It says, King of the Jews. And it says the chief priests, when Jesus was crucified, crucified they, uh, they went to Pilate and they said, don't, he is not our king. Don't put a sign, King of the Jews. Uh, over there, but he does not represent us. Um, but but I love. Here's what Pilate said. Pilate said, "I have what I have written. I have written." And uh, and just thinking of today, just so many, so many thoughts. And uh, as we are we are here in our homes on this Good Friday, uh, the whole world has is really at a is still at a at a shut in place of almost like the very first Passover, and uh, uh, because of something called Corona. A coronavirus, and uh, many of you probably already have heard this, but Corona, um, it actually, it's a, it's a, it's a word that means crown, and so thinking of today, the entire world is still before King Jesus, and uh, and so I just want to just this morning just remind us of our King, who went and uh, he went. It says that he. He was he was there. It says that he they divided lots for his clothes. He was uh, they said he had the crown of thorns. Um, everything every says he was mocked. He was beaten. All these things you know um, you know this story, and uh, and that he took our punishment, and he took our place, and uh, and just reflecting on that today, and that's why uh, we call it a Good Friday because the King of Kings came and traded his life for ours. Something you know, probably a story that you know, but it's worth remembering today. And I just want to pray a blessing over you all. And I really want to talk to Jesus for just a moment. And uh, just the King of Kings, the one who, who does wear the crown, it is written. And uh, even the nations of the earth, no matter no matter what anybody else says right now, uh, the whole earth has to look to Jesus as the King. And so right now, I just pray, Jesus, we just come before you today and we remember that you came on a Friday and you were uh, falsely accused, that you were sentenced, that you were beaten, that you were mocked, that you were abandoned, that even in the moment of of, of your last moments, the Father turned his back on you so that he would never have to turn his back on us. You traded places with us. And we do remember on this Good Friday, even as the earth uh, is in a place of Passover and a place in our homes. And I just pray, even now for us, number one, we just remember and we thank you and we honor you, King Jesus. But number two, we thank you that you are moving. And we, uh, we are asking that you would align us today with every kingdom purpose uh, that you are that you are bringing about in the earth, and we look to you as King. We honor you. We worship you today, King Jesus. We honor you and we worship you, and uh, we just say that you get all the glory. You deserve all the glory, and you are worthy. Bless you guys as you are are going about your day today, remembering King Jesus, the King of the Jews, but the King of the earth as we are silent before him today and uh, just over this entire weekend of remembrance of our great father and our great king and bless y'all love you guys talk to you soon